Welcome back to the dystopian alternative timeline that is Donald Trump's America. In one of the sto many dystopian stories of the week, uh, we learn from Tim Dickinson at Rolling Stone, among others, that Border Patrol agents at JFK at John F. Kennedy Airport in New York City uh, stopped domestic travelers, travelers not flying in from overseas, but flying from San Francisco to New York, were told uh, to show their identity documents to uniformed agents of the Custom and Border Protection Agency upon their arrival at JFK on Wednesday evening. Now, what's striking about that, we've covered uh, the uh, CPB, uh, I'm sorry, this, yes, the CBP in the past, the Customs and Border Protection Agency, and the fact that they appear to be unleashed, uh, some of them anyway, and eager to test the boundaries of their authority under Donald J. Trump. Uh, now, think about the name, Customs and Border Protection. That would suggest strongly that their job is to handle customs, which are goods coming into the country from abroad, and border protection, that is to say, people crossing a border. But the passengers on this Delta flight did not cross a border. They did not come from another country. They came from one part of the United States to another. Now, the notion of demanding travel documents or documents identification of any kind for people traveling inside the border of a country, to my mind, is only familiar to us from the history of two nations, and that's the Soviet Union under communism, and South Africa under apartheid. So what does it tell us when a border prote protection patrol force demands identity documents from people traveling within the United States? It tells us that they feel emboldened to do things that they have never done before. It tells us, to, it tells me anyway, that our civil liberties are very much at risk. Now, a spokesman for the CBP insisted that this action, according to uh, their quote to Tim Dickinson at Rolling Stone, it's nothing new and there is no new policy. And yet a passenger on the plane said we were told we couldn't disembark without showing our quote unquote documents. People, we are talking about the United States of America, which for all its historical flaws has never told its citizens or people within its borders that they have to show their documents to travel from point A to point B. This is appalling. 